In the spring of each school year, the graduating class nominates and elects an individual as school valedictorian. The person is one who over the years has successfully balanced academic achievement with school life, one who has given of himself or herself so that others enjoy the years spent at Bayview. In following with tradition, this year's valedictorian has been the model Bayview student since his arrival. He has dedicated himself to leadership in many activities while maintaining high academic standards. Graduates, you have made an excellent choice in selecting Kizer Amin as the valedictorian of the 2010 guests, Bayview staff, parents, families, friends, and of course, fellow graduates. Good evening. It is an honor to stand before you tonight. First off, I have to say, we did it. Fellow grads, we made it. The future lies ahead, bright and glowing, and we are in a position to take hold of it. We have arrived here today by taking one of the myriad academic paths available to us. Some of us were in the IB, some in academics or essentials. Some of us took all the science courses we could, while others opted for anything but. Some found their passion in the arts, while others became interested in the business world. And of course, we will leave the ceremony tonight by heading in separate directions, be it off to the workplace, an apprenticeship, college, university, or something in between. But tonight, regardless of how we got here, or where we will go, we are united as Bayview graduates. We have come together to celebrate the accomplishments and successes of our graduating class, this being Bayview's 50th. Today is our time to be proud, today is our time to be thankful, and today is our time to take center stage. I can remember way back in grade nine, on the registration days in the first few days of high school. Man, I was lost within a minute of entering the school, and I was pretty scared. You guys are all like, whatever, whatever. But that doesn't hide the truth, because you were just as scared as I was. <laughs> Compared to my elementary school, Bayview was enormous, and you needed a GPS to navigate the hallways. And I still think we need traffic lights there. <laughs> and for the first few days, I also remember thinking that Bayview was something out of the Harry Potter novels. For example, on registration day, we had prefects roaming the halls. <laughs> <laughs> we have a head boy in Akib, just like Percy Weasley. Well, that's pretty cool. Plus. We had our very own dungeon, where we could go have potions with Professor Snape. <laughs> Just here we call it the G-Wing, and we hold math class there. Same thing. <laughs> all in all, we were a little nervous and a little insecure for the first few days. But as those days turned into weeks, we started to meet new people. Classes started to make sense. They didn't seem so long anymore. We all stopped listening to announcements, and of course, we realized that there were alternatives to the Bayview cafeteria, specifically in the shape of a nice big plaza to ourselves. And as grade 9 made way for grade 10, and grade 10 for 11, most of us started to feel like we belonged. In fact, I think we kind of got the feeling that we owned the place. Now that's wonderful and all, but it sets you up for a great disappointment, because in grade 12, we realized that we don't own Bayview. They're kicking us out tonight. <laughs> See, graduation is seen as a happy event, but it's just a way for the teachers to get rid of us. I say, it's time for a revolution. <laughs> Jokes, I've had enough of high school too. <laughs> I thought that tonight I should try to reminisce on the past few years that we've had together. But there is no way I could fairly summarize all the great experiences we went through and learned from. Now is there. We are too diverse at graduating class, with just too many Kodak moments. For me to do justice, in a matter of minutes. But in hindsight, I think what ends up as most memorable are the trivial, mundane activities that were put together 
define the high school experience. You know, the small things that each of us went through every day. Things like sleeping in class, looking up at the clock every three seconds and hoping that a half hour has gone by since we last checked. <laughs> Accidentally touching some gum stuck under our desk, which is nasty. <laughs> Hiding out in the library on hot days because it actually has air conditioning. <laughs> Hugging all our friends when we enter class because we realize we have a supply teacher today. <laughs> or opening up the first page of a test and immediately hoping with all our heart for a fire alarm. <laughs> These fellow graduates are the things that we all went through and so have created a unique bond between us. Yes, that puts us in the same boat. We are all high school survivors. Before we all begin the celebrations, which I'm sure will go on and on for most of us until September, I would like to take time out to show appreciation for all those who have made this evening possible. On behalf of the graduates, a heartfelt thank you goes to the teachers, administration, and staff of Baby Secondary. Over the past four odd years, you have been our mentors, our sources of inspiration, our friends, our leaders, and our prison wardens. A course outline consists of nothing more than a draft framework of requirements that must be taught to the student. It is only through teachers and staff that education is made interactive, intuitive, and interesting. It's still not fun though. <laughs> so thank you for helping us students find our academic passions. And of course, a special thank you and farewell to the long-serving staff members who will also be graduating from BV tonight. Ms. Drucker, Ms. Halpern, Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Best, Mr. C. Thank you for having positively impacted our lives and the lives of many former students. in your future endeavors. And on behalf of the graduates, thank you to the parents and families. Your constant support in the form of love, empathy, finance, good food, and constant nagging has allowed us students to hone our abilities and excel in the pursuit of knowledge. You're a major reason for today's ceremonies. From you, we got the courage and belief to follow our dreams and achieve to our highest potential. And as a result, our success is your success. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for putting up with me for the last 18 years. In closing, I'd like to point out that these have been challenging but rewarding years of our life. We have gained a lot from these four years. And right now, more than ever before, I think, it is most valuable to have gained the virtue of integrity. Many people in my position would, at this point, tell you to follow your dreams and look to leap through the windows of opportunity as they present themselves. And of course, it is important to go out there and shape the world as we want to see it. However, before we can take matters into our, into our own hands, life comes to us and reality hits faster than Usain Bolt could ever run. <laughs> and it is for moments like those, the trivial moments that occur every day and to everyone, that we need to be most ready to make sound decisions that benefit us and the people around us. Because when it comes down to it, all that keeps us intact is a sense of morality. That's all there is. Empathy, care, love, respect, and honor. And if we have gained that from high school, if we have become morally responsible individuals, then I think we are ready to be adults and we are ready for the real world, whatever that is. As the world's greatest, no, not me, not me, as Muhammad Ali put it, <laughs> in a competition of love and respect, we all share in the victory, no matter who comes first. Let's keep that in mind as we head into our futures. Once again, thank you to everyone. Thank you for the memories. Thank you for the support. Graduates, congratulations. Keep in touch, and I'll see you all at the top. May God bless us all. Thank you very much.